Welcome to Beer and Irons Beef Cookies for Dogs. We're creating treats for the pups in your life with leftover parts and pieces that we cast iron chefs would have thrown away otherwise. This is a beef and whole wheat treat that you can make as easy as making cookies. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a cup and a half of whole wheat flour. Get your measuring cups ready. A fourth of a cup of oil or fat. A cup to a cup and a half of meatish stuff two large eggs, a half teaspoon of salt, and a bunch of parsley with the stems cut off. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Get your food processor together and we're going to start by adding the meatish stuff to the food processor. Next we're going to add our parsley. Then we're going to throw in our cup and a half of whole wheat flour. But definitely don't forget that salt, half teaspoon of salt. We're going to put that lid back on and we're going to make our dry ingredients into our base. It's going to look like almost like a cake mix, dry cake mix. Add your two eggs. This is our wet stuff. Throw in your fourth of a cup of fat. You can use lard from a cook, like beef fat, or you can use grapeseed oil or olive oil, whatever oil that you have. Next, we're going to blend it to a dough. And this is going to take some time. Just let it run through until finally you start getting a nice ball of dough, a sticky form that will kind of coagulate there in your food processor. Now this is what we're looking for almost like making a pie crust. Optional is wax paper. It helps keep the dough from sticking to your countertop. Add a little oil. Spread things around real good. Oil up your rolling pin. Get your dough that you've created out of your food processor, but watch those blades. And dudes are sharp. Get that dough and start smoothing it out. Once you get it flat enough, go ahead and get your rolling pin and roll it out good and flat, about an eighth of an inch on up to a half inch. It's up to you. Just remember that the thinner the cookie, the crunchier the cookie, and the thicker, the more crumbly and easier it is to chew. How big a round to make the cookie is totally up to you as well. We use a cookie or biscuit cutters to cut these out. I like to make the cookies smaller to have more of them. Go ahead and score that cookie dough out with a cookie cutter, making each one just about touching. Now there's no leaven in these cookies. There's nothing in these cookies to make them rise, but I still poke each one with a fork in order for more even cooking when we get ready to bake these cookies in the oven. Stack up the cut raw cookies. Gather up all those bits and parts, roll it up into another dough ball, and we're going to roll it out again and make some more cookies. Once you get all the cookies cut and ready, get your cast iron griddle out and lay those raw cookies out side by side. And don't worry about how close you put them. You can put them side by side touching and they'll be just fine. Let the cookies bake in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes until they're nice and toasty. After 20 or 30 minutes of baking in the oven, go ahead and pull them out for cooling. You can let them cool right on that griddle if you wanted to, or you can lay them out on a cooling rack. And you can see there, I've had somebody watching me the whole time. Look at these dogs, ready to go. That's Coco on the right and Lolo on the left. Australian Shepherds they are. Look at that one, boy, she loves them. Like I said, you can make them as big around as you want. It's up to you. This is my timid one. She's always cautious. Look at there. This one right here, you got to watch her. She'll take your fingers off. There they go. Look at here. Thanks for watching Beer and Iron's Dog Cookie Recipe. A dog biscuit recipe made out of meat parts that you normally would have just thrown out. I hope you enjoy it. I sure enough know they did. Thank you.